Sean Clement here from Wisdom in Golf on location at the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center in uh, Richmond Hill, Ontario, right uh, just north of uh, Toronto, Canada. And today we're going to be talking about the finish position, basically a remake of our five-year-old finish position video that's kind of, you know, with the old camera and the old sound. Now we got new cameras and new sounds, thanks to my friend Matt here. So the finish position, you'll see how important it is. It is the blueprint from beginning to end in your golf swing. Let's say, you know, I was your brother and I get up and, you know, I come to your house with my car and I say, hey, come on, let's go for a ride. What's the first question you got for me? Obviously, you want to know where we're going. Until I tell you, you're in the fog. So let's say we're at your house and we're going over to your workplace. So now immediately you have a picture in your mind and you know which turns I'm going to make to get to your workplace. Well, it's the same thing in the golf swing. Your central nervous system needs to know what home is or where we're going. And it needs to be very specific. So let's start with how you are stacked as a human body. You'll notice how my head, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles all stack up on top of each other. Okay, this is how my body can stay relaxed. You'll notice if you lean backwards just a bit, you can stand up right now and try this. Lean back just a tad and you'll notice, whoa, I've got my ab muscles that are tightening up, my quad muscles are getting tight. My brain now needs to activate these muscles so I don't fall down. I did enough of that when I was this high learning how to walk and it was a good, good thing I was only this high. So when you lose your balance in your body, there's a reaction to that out of balance condition. We don't want those. So when we get in our posture, we bend forward, protruding rearward from the hips, which are underneath my pelvis. And this is what counterbalances my arm club unit hanging in front, just like we talked about in that, you know, posture and balance uh, video. So from this position here, this is where I'm starting from. Well, now my brain needs to know where this is all going to end, doesn't it? So I start from this position here, and let's go do a finish position. Here we go. Swing to my finish and hold my finish. This is really important. So you notice when I'm holding my finish, everything stacks up. Head, shoulders, left hip, left knee, left ankle. Notice how my left foot is secure and bolted to the ground. The arches of my feet act like suction cups. So I'm applying suction to those arches at address. I stay inside that suction in my right foot going back and I swing through to the target holding my finish and I still feel I got that nice suction through my left side going forward. So what I want you guys to rehearse, we talk about how we have our action to target. So either I'm slashing my sword through to the target so I feel the release there or I am throwing my club to the target. So when I throw the club, I want to feel that there's something there that's going to catch me when I finish my swing. So, I get in my posture. If I throw the club into my target, which is right there next to that foot joy sign, I'm hitting my draw, my brain is automatically looking for that finish position right now. So I'm going to whip the club into that foot joy sign and hold my finish. Now, you know, you keep doing that after you whip to the target, keep holding that finish. You are reinforcing what your central nervous system absolutely needs. It needs to know point A to point B. So you whip to the target, your brain is looking for that finish position. You start in balance and you finish in balance. Well, then you'll notice how your, your, your body will tend to seek that nice balanced position throughout the swing and it will make your swing way more centered, way more balanced and way more consistent, which is what we want, right? All right. So now let's talk about width of stance because width of stance is very much, you know, part of that finish position. And as I teach day to day, especially when I'm teaching my new students, and even though some of my students sometimes will tend to get a little too wide in their stance because they, they feel it's so comfortable, right? You get that nice wide stance at a dress and you're thinking, boy, does that feel solid. It may feel solid in a static sense, 
But in a dynamic sense, it's very destructive to your swing, okay? It's going to impede many things going on in your swing. Namely, that finish position. So we talked about how we are wired, if you look at my ridiculously easy video, we're wired in relation to a target. So if I take this ball, and I throw this ball to a, I want to make it skip on water. Notice I'm releasing it here. My body's facing, my weight's on the front foot. The weight got to the front foot before I threw the stone. If you're too wide, as you finish the backswing, your body is trying to get ready to throw the club to the target. If I'm too wide, I have a hard time getting to that front foot because that leg here is hanging me back. So now dynamically, I feel the need to drag that foot. I used to do that as a kid, drove my dad nuts. My, my shoes used to detach from the front. They looked like a, a flapping mouth because I was wide swing to a target, I had to drag my foot to finish my, my swing properly or get to my forward side. So, no flapping shoes in this class, okay? <laughs> so I get a stance that's shoulder width. You'll notice that if you swing to the finish and hold the finish with the proper width of stance, your right leg is gonna hang wonderfully from the hip joint. If you're too narrow, you're gonna have to stay flat-footed, otherwise you get this protruding knee, which doesn't look very pretty, all right? So I got the right stance, finish and balance, beautiful. Feet close together, I have to keep that right foot down to finish and balance. This is also very, very solid. No problem swinging this way at all. Get too wide, now we're having issues with our wiring. This is how you're wired. You don't want to mess and go against how you're naturally wired to swing the club to the target. Also, you'll find that your, your center of gravity, which is the centermost point, we have equal weight up and down, front to back and side to side, it seeks support. So as your arms go into the backswing, it wants to find some support for that center of gravity, right? So now you'll have to sway when you're too wide. Another problematic issue because now that the center of the swing is moving around, we're gonna have a hard time being very consistent with that low point in the swing. So I hope you enjoyed that. Bottom line, what you want to do, you pick your target, you set up to match the target, not too wide, feet slightly toed open. We'll see that with our, our new remake of Scully. So make sure you have a look at that. And then whip to the target. So right now I'm focused on my target. I'm gonna whip through to the target and I'm gonna hold my finish. Boom feels very solid. That's what I'm looking for. Enjoy that. We'll see you in the next video.